Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the 2016 horror movie called Night of Something Strange. The movie commences with a janitor rolling his cleaning station down the hallway of a hospital. He stops at a door, opens it, and enters a room. He then stares at a body and removes the covering on the female. He has carnal knowledge of the body. Back at home, a woman calls the janitor, whose name was Cornelius, to come get dinner. However, Cornelius is in the room screaming in pain until he passes out. The woman then comes in and sees zombie Cornelius. He pulls her down and forces himself on her. After climaxing, the woman attacks him and runs to the kitchen. She picks up a knife and hurts Cornelius. However, this doesn't work, as Cornelius eats her up and walks out of the house. The next scene shows two guys driving through a dark road when something stops them in their tracks. The guys hit Cornelius and crash into a small bush. They wonder who they hit on the way and find out it was Cornelius. Cornelius hitches a ride with the boys as they drive off. Meanwhile, a girl named Christine is at school writing and thinking about their activity between that time and college. She talks about her friends and their personalities when the bell rings for class. As she reads her books, Dirk arrives for school. He plays some music out loud and just stands by his car. Pamela goes outside to meet her boyfriend. She and her boyfriend later drive away. After class, Samara, one of Christine's classmates, finds out that her boyfriend, Brooklyn, had broken up with her. Later, Christine and Carrie discuss Samara not coming. Carrie has an argument with her boyfriend, Freddie, who just shrugs her accusations off, and they all enter the car. In the next scene, the mailman is seen walking towards Cornelius's house at the edge of town. As he's about to open the door, someone or something grabs him from the inside. Later, Pamela and her boyfriend stop to get some gas. Pamela walks into the store to use the bathroom as her boyfriend fills the gas. The two guys that hit Cornelius arrive to buy some gas as well. One of them enters the store to steal some drinks. Pamela then joins her boyfriend outside, who chastises one of the guys who arrived for staring at his girlfriend. Pamela and her boyfriend drive away. Unknown to the drivers, they'd driven the hibernated zombie Cornelius at the back of their truck. Zombie Cornelius comes out and enters the store. Woody, one of the guys who arrived, finishes his vile act and exits the store. Meanwhile, zombie Cornelius finds Pamela's tampons in the toilet. He takes it out and eats it. The group from the high school are still on the road as they discuss things and tease each other. Jason catches Brooklyn rolling some substances and he teases him. Carrie asks for a bathroom break and the next scene shows the store owner disposing of Pamela's tampons. Just then, the mailman who was knocked out earlier comes back to life. The high school group arrives at the gas station Pamela and her boyfriend had used previously. Carrie asks for the bathroom and the storekeeper gives her a key. Just then, the other high schoolers played a prank on Brooklyn who was asleep in the car. Carrie stares at the dirty toilet bowl and manages to sit down on it. However, she falls back on the blood-ridden toilet bowl and rushes back up. By nightfall, Pamela rushes out of her boyfriend's car to take a pee when her phone rings in the car. Her boyfriend picks up her phone and sees that it was a sultry message from another guy. He has a mini freakout in the car and Pamela comes back in. He promised himself not to freak out so he could get laid that night and drives away. Zombie Cornelius arrives at Pamela's pee site and sucks on it. The high school group is still on the road when Carrie starts to feel nauseous. They stop the car and Brooklyn joins her. Zombie Cornelius stares at them from the shadows and enjoys the views of the disgusting throw-ups being lined up on the ground. Back at the store, the keeper turns off the lights, ready to close for the night, when a can rolls up to the counter on the floor. She picks it up to keep it when the mailman appears at her back. He knocks her out and forces himself on her. Still on the road, the high schoolers stop at a bungalow, and Jason, the fatty in the group, is forced out of the car. One of the guys followed later. Dirk finally gets laid. Jason and Freddy make their way to the motel, and they rent some rooms for all of them. As they pay the bills, Jason sees a little girl playing with a woman in a mask. Just then, the motel attendant finishes his business with them and tells them to enjoy their stay. Freddy asks Jason to give him and Carrie, Freddy's girlfriend, some time alone. Jason reluctantly agrees and gets back into the car. As the group packs in, they notice Jason hasn't entered with them. When asked why, he told them what Freddy told him, and they all frown and discuss about Freddy. Jason gets into the car nonetheless. Back in the room, Freddy tries to talk his girlfriend into doing the do with him. Freddy rushes outside to jerk off when the motel keeper catches him. Freddy somehow manages to knock himself out cold as the woman Cornelius turned first walks to the hotel. She frightens Jason, who runs and hides inside the motel. He then meets up with Carrie, who looks very pale. 
Jason freaks out when Carrie asks him to take advantage of her. Back in the other room, Brooklyn hits on Christine, but doesn't get things in order well enough. Pamela and Dirk are in the same hotel when Dirk chastises Pamela for smiling and texting another guy behind his back, and leaves her. As Pamela tries to call him back, Dirk walks away and zombie Cornelius attacks Pamela. Dirk hears the sounds, but walks away. He then bumps into the motel owner and tells him he's fine. Meanwhile, zombie Cornelius feeds on Pamela and knocks her out. Jason and a very pale Carrie are having carnal knowledge of each other when Carrie goes haywire and attacks Jason. Freddy wakes up and finds himself on the floor. The store owner catches him and rushes him back to the room. Freddy enters a dark room and romances the person sleeping on the bed. Unknown to him, Jason was the one sleeping there. He unknowingly has carnal knowledge with Jason the entire time as he climaxes and sleeps on Jason. Meanwhile, Brooklyn still hits on Christine, who tries to tell him she can't be with her friend's ex. Eventually, Christine leaves Brooklyn for a walk. Freddy wakes up and begins round two on Jason, still thinking he was doing it with his girlfriend, Carrie. However, things take a turn for the worse when his manhood gets stuck in Jason's butt. Just then, he turns on the lamp and sees the horror unfold in front of him. His manhood remains stuck in Jason as he cries out loud. Outside, Christine tries to get a drink out of the vending machine when it gets stuck. She walks off annoyed and Dirk helps her out with her problem. Things look good for the two of them as they talk about themselves and their bad relationship lives. Dirk finds himself talking about his army life with Christine. They chat and laugh as normal people do. Freddy is still stuck with Jason as he tries desperately to free himself from Jason's butt. Just then, the zombie storekeeper from earlier enters the motel and attacks Freddy. She then passes down some smoke to Freddy. Thankfully, Freddy reacts fast and takes her out using a lamp in the drawer. Dirk and Christine continue their chat and things get spicy between them. As they keep chatting, they hear some screams from inside the motel. They go to check it out and see Carrie shouting into nothingness. Christine touches her friend, only to find out that Carrie has already turned into a zombie. Dirk reacts in time and knocks her out. They then run to Dirk's car and fail to start the ignition. Thankfully, Dirk takes out Carrie but is attacked again by Cornelius. Yet again, Christine takes out Cornelius. Dirk stands up and runs back to his car. Christine then calls the police while Dirk searches for his car keys. Christine finishes the call, telling the police where they were, and walks over to see her deceased zombie friend. She stares at her as Dirk gets dragged again by the zombie Cornelius. Christine is about to take out the zombie again and picks up a gun. This time, Carrie stops her and attacks her. Dirk kicks Cornelius in the manhood and tells Christine to kick her friend in her private parts. After being kicked several times, Carrie pursues Dirk and Christine back to the motel. They enter Brooklyn's room and tell him to prepare for a zombie attack. Brooklyn sounds skeptical until he checks things out for himself. He freaks out and Dirk calms him down. A police car arrives at the motel and phones that there's no sign of any activity into his station. Meanwhile, Freddy is still trying to free himself from the clutches of Jason's butt when the cop knocks on the door. Freddy manages to get himself and Freddy on the bed as the cop breaks into the room. He interrogates Freddy for a while and he explains to the cop that he and Jason were together. The cop laughs and leaves. The cop then sees Dirk, Christine, and Brooklyn in the corridor and holds them at gunpoint. He then phones in the station and Christine freaks out to the cop as zombie Cornelius appears at the cop's back. As they try to duck away, Cornelius climaxes and releases over a gallon of manhood juice to the cop. This burns the cop's skin and he writhes in pain. Jason finally wakes up as a zombie and drags Freddy along with him as he makes his way outside the room. Freddy struggles to free himself from Jason's butt clutch and unfortunately loses his backbone. Brooklyn gets turned into a zombie, leaving Dirk and Christine to themselves. Christine gets attacked and Dirk walks towards Pamela's room. He sees Pamela already knocked out and is attacked by another zombie. This time, he takes this one out and locks the door. Christine is outside trying to fend off one of the zombies, as Dirk still gets pulled in between one of the zombies' legs. Dirk bites down on the hole and shoots her insides. The motel keeper helps Christine take out the zombie attacking her, but he then knocks her out shortly afterwards. Pamela then wakes up to attack Dirk. However, he defends himself and shoots her. As Dirk finishes washing his face, the motel keeper knocks them out and takes them to a weird room. Dirk and Christine wake up tied to a table and struggle to free themselves when the creepy motel attendant tries to remove their parts. Before they could do anything, zombie Cornelius comes in and attacks the motel keeper and his crew. Dirk and Christine manage to take Cornelius out and free themselves. They move out of the motel and get to their car. As they're about to drive out, 
Jason and another zombie attack them again. Before Dirk gets the life strangled out of him, a police baton falls from above. Dirk grabs it and hits Jason repeatedly. Christine also removes the uterus of her zombie attacker and throws it under Dirk's car. Dirk finishes Jason off and drives both of them home. The next scene shows Christine waking up to a sunny day with Dirk staring out in the sunrise. She kisses him and mistakenly turns into a zombie. Dirk is sorry for what he did and asks for Christine to come back to him as she runs out. Unfortunately for Christine, she gets taken out by some dudes driving a car. Shortly after, Dirk also gets taken out and the movie ends. Thanks for watching guys.